Hey guys, today I've got my September book haul and it's pretty substantial so I'm gonna get cracking. First thing I got is Somebody's Husband, Somebody's Son, The Story of Peter Sutcliffe by Gordon Byrne. It's pretty self-explanatory, it's The Story of Peter Sutcliffe, who is the Yorkshire Ripper if you didn't know. I forgot to mention at the start, all of these books are like reading list books, well most of them, and this term I'm taking Best of Evil, which is basically how to write about evil things and like bad people and utopias and dystopias so it's all a little bit dark i guess next thing i got is the boy in the striped pajamas by john boyne and i mentioned before that i wanted to read this and then it turned up on my reading list i was like yes next thing i got is blow your house down by pat barker i also got boy a by jonathan is this trigel or trigel trigel T-R-I-G-E-L-L. -L. This is an old library book. I picked up a lot, well, a few of these as secondhand ones. And this has come from Camden Public Libraries. The next thing I got is As If by Blake Morrison. This is about the um, Jamie Baldry case. But apparently it sounds like it's going to be pretty sad because the guy who writes it kind of like reflects on himself as well. Then I got Border Crossing by Pat Barker again. I also got Pig Iron by Benjamin Myers. I'm not sure if this is on a reading list anymore. It got changed like just a bit ago and I couldn't find it. But what I tend to do with reading lists is just pick up the ones that I actually want and I feel like I won't read because they sound interesting. <laughs> Apparently the reviews here say it's got like a really good voice and I do love a book that sounds nice. That sounds weird because books don't speak to you, but I know what I mean. I also got King Crow by Michael Stewart. And this one sounds like a road trip kind of novel, but it seems like their road trip isn't quite like normal and like bad things happen whilst they're on it, I think. I'm not sure, but I mean also this was kind of a cover by because it looks kind of interesting. <laughs> then I got 1984 by George Orwell. I have heard mixed reviews about this. My friend Taryn said she read this and she found it so boring, but I'm hoping it will be good. Then I got Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. This is about a society where books are not allowed and the main character's job is to burn the books but like I think it seems like things are weighing on him like with his family life and stuff. It seems like an interesting thing. Then I got A Modern Utopia by H.G. Wells. I wanted to read some H.G. Wells for like a really long time and I thought with taking utopias and dystopias I would read more of him. There's two? of his books on here. This one, I think like the title says it all, is literally just a utopian society, I think. Like that's what I'm getting. Two English travellers fall into a space warp and suddenly find themselves in another world. So yeah. Then I got A Clockwork Orange. I'm actually quite excited to read this one. I like this quote on the back, it says a red streak of gleeful evil, which makes me excited. Oh, I was born in Manchester. How exciting. Also this is a very pretty cover. I do like the penguin books. Weirdly shaped though, like why is it so small? Then I got the whoa Jesus I took myself out. Then I got the essential Kafka. I don't need to read all of these but it seems I, I think I only have to read the trial but like it seems stupid to buy just the trial which is like a 200 page book for like the price of a book when I could buy lots <laughs> of stories or literally two quid. This was two quid. I was like, yeah. And I did read like the synopsises of the other books in this and they seemed interesting so I was like, I might as well. Then I got Spectacles by Sue Perkins. I went to see her show. She did a show called Live in Spectacles and you could buy a ticket that came with the book. It was super cool. Uh, the show was really funny. It was like a mix between stand-up and also readings from the book so I've read a bit of it. Then I got News from Nowhere by William Morris. I don't really like how this looks because like, there's no spine, there's no blood, like what is this? <laughs> it's just the blank back of a book. And finally I got The Shape of Things to Come by H.G. Wells. So this is about someone who dies who leaves behind a dream book which is like a book that's been written far into the future but a history book that's been written into the future. It's like a history book of the future, I think. So yeah, they're all the books I got in September. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe and all that stuff, and I'll see you guys later. Bye! <gasps> oh my god, it's so heavy, it's so heavy. <sighs> I am weak. I really hope they were all in shot. I'm not sure. Whoa! <laughs>